I got some new uh, chisels. Not chisels, they're woodworking, uh, wood turning chisels <laughs> with carbon carbide blades at the end, interchangeable. So I can use that tip for now and when it gets blunt I can take the screw out little screw at the top there, I take it out and turn the blade 180 degrees and that'll give me another surface to work with um, this one is a square blade I guess you call it so I can use that four times turn it around 90 degrees every time uh, this one with a round tip on it um, for gouging out inside like a vase or something and then a round one here as well all interchangeable they set a four cost me a hundred and fifteen I think on eBay and then you can buy new tips when you need them so I want to try these out today And I've got a piece of wood that's been hanging around for a while. It's probably not dry enough yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I picked this up on a walk in the forest, in the woods. Uh, I'm going to get the chainsaw and cut it maybe about there, or a bit shorter. And I'm going to use and cut that off. I'm going to use this end to make a vase for Start with the round one. Get the chainsaw again.
Wow. A, I'm glad I was standing over there. B, I'm glad the camera was rolling. And C, <sighs> I need a new plan. I know, I know, you guys who know what you're doing are gonna tell me I should have I should have taken the bark off before I started. But lesson learned, eh? But aside from that, I've broken my thingy. Dented there. This kit end thing came out of the uh, center hole and made a big gouge up here. So that was a major mishap there now. But it's only the equipment that's damaged, not me. So I will take the bark off. But I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's beyond fixing as it is. And it's only, it's only cheap shit anyway. Oh. But maybe I can take that off and make my own plate. This is my plan for now. This is a side mounting bracket for an Isuzu truck tow bar which means it's bloody strong so what I gotta do I believe my plan is to cut cut the side off and then straighten that up 90 degrees drill a hole in there for this lad I might have to thin thin it out here because uh, there's not enough thread there or there's barely enough thread. That's some heavy duty cotton. My hands are worn out from pressing on the on the uh, angle grinder. My slot is a bit wide, I reckon, but not too wide. That's better. There's always something.
Yeah. I thought I had a way of uh, locking that onto the French cleat so I couldn't jump off the French cleats. And if I did, it didn't work. And if I didn't, I will next time. It's not perfectly balanced, but that's okay. I've got it closer this time. I think that my plan is to hold the bench as steady as possible while it's still unbalanced and then get as much meat as I can off as quickly as possible. Because once it's actually round, it'll be fine. I had absolutely no reason to turn that piece of wood today except that I wanted to get away from the computer for a while and as such it was good fun and a great success even the uh, near disaster at the start uh, and how nice is that that is um, Feast Watson Hard Wax Black. That is Feast Watson Kitchen Timber Wax Clear. And that is Feast Watson uh, Orange Oil. Uh, when that dries, I'm, I'm wondering what that'll look like when it dries out, but at the moment when it's got that wet look, it's gorgeous. That's, that's my favorite orange oil and the piece of wood I picked that up on the side of the road on a walk with the boys about six months ago I didn't think it'd be quite dry yet but it is apparently and it turned beautifully that look at the knot in that that's gorgeous the figure beautiful don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'll make something out of it later, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. Anyway, oh yeah, and I wanted to test my new tool rest. That's awesome. I'm glad I made that. The locking mechanism isn't terribly convenient, but what the hell. This is just a practice laid on to it until I get a proper one. I've actually got a proper one, or I've got the makings of a proper one, but it needs some bits still. A local lady was wanting room in her shed, or her husband wanted room in her shed, and wanted the lathe gone, so I got it on Facebook for nothing. Good, old, heavy, the actual lathe head and motor is missing, but I've got the body, and it's got a um, table saw and a disc sander as part of it. And the body length is probably close to double what this one can take, I think. So I need a motor 
and I need I need a motor and I need the head for this end. I've got I'm, I'm okay on this end. I've got one of them. I need the motor and a head down here. And clean it up and make it look good. That's a project for later though. But yeah, that was a nice afternoon relaxing in the woodshed. Now I've got to go back to the computer and edit the video. It's kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? Come out here to play with wood to get away from the computer, but then I have to go back to the computer to edit the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you were entertained. I'm making do with what I've got. I haven't killed myself yet. Uh, but anyway, that's life. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. See you on the next video.